My goodness, it has been such a beautiful morning since we started at six o'clock. And the gorgeous thing is the fact that we are not done just yet. No, no, no. Because we always make promises, and as your Feel Good Breakfast show, we like to deliver on them. And this is why we have got in the building one of the most incredible women that you will meet. She is multifaceted in so many different ways because she is not only a makeup mogul, she is not only a woman who has the voice of an angel, but she is also an actress. I am talking about Eswatini, born absolute queen. It is Zamo Jamini. Zamo. Looking so stunning. How are you today? Thank you. I am well, thank you. And so much, thank you so much for having me to Expresso. I'm yes. very excited to be here. Uh, we're excited to have you. I was listening to your, your vocal, uh, you know, getting ready. Mm -hmm. We're about to be blown away. <laughs> but I want to take it to the beginning. Yeah. Because Zamo, you're somebody who literally took everything to the top at the age of 15. Mm -hmm. Your song that you released, it came out and everybody was about it. And you were taking bookings at 15. While all of us were watching Dragon Ball Z and playing that ball. <laughs> My love, speak to me about that. What was that like? It was amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. You know, took, a, took some of my childhood though, so. you know, because now I had to watch everything I do. People are hearing your song on radio, yeah. people are singing in the newspapers. Yeah. So literally you have to be like polished and you know. A little good girl. A little good girl, yeah. you know. But I had a little bit of moments, uh, you know, watching my Dragon Ball Z and At all least. of that. Yeah, yes. so, but it was, it was lovely. Oh. It was a really, very, very nice foundation for me, yeah. Yes, mm. and speak to me about, you know, just in terms of how now now you've grown as an artist because of course that was 15 year old Zamo mm -hmm. but then you moved to South Africa in 2011 mm -hmm. and you were like I need to make my name I need people to know me not just in my own country but as well here how did you go about doing that well I mean I was 21 really just discovering myself mm. and I felt like I'm at, because at home I'd already marked that territory it, it was more of wanting to get out of the comfort zone yes you know getting to a new place like Joburg is like a jungle it is you know so when I got here um, I didn't have any mentors, Aww. I didn't know anybody, mm -hmm. literally, you know, it was like I was just thrown in the ocean with a whole lot of sharks. Yeah. But, you know, I managed to find my way to swim. Girl, you're not uh... just swimming, you're doing backstroke, <laughs> freestyle, you're doing the most. Yeah. yeah, so it was lovely, it was great. And for me, I also just love your story because you're somebody who hasn't just kept yourself in one thing. You are like, yes, I sing, mm -hmm. but I can do makeup mm -hmm. and I can also act. Yeah. Speak to us about, you know, opening up yourself to different things as well as your business, Spotless by well, I guess with every artist, I always say, you can't really look at one thing, mm. you know. Mm. Being multifaceted helps you in a sense that um, when one is not moving, the other one will be moving. Yes. Or if one needs to be fed by the other, the other one will feed the other, you know. Mm. And I believe that if you are an artist, there is another hidden talent that you have. And I always encourage younger artists to say, look, look into something else. Don't just look at one stream of income. Because yeah. then that's how you end up frustrated and then saying, Oh, I want to, you know, I feel like I'm suicidal because mm -hmm. I'm depressed because really it's not every day that you'll have a gig, yeah. you know. So I've been blessed in, in, in that way because one thing has led to another. Yeah. I remember how I started makeup. I was in a group. I was helping people with eyebrows, and everyone is like, "Why aren't you making people pay?" Yay. And that's basically how the business started, Aww. you know. So yeah, one thing led to another, and I'm really grateful. And look at you now, a makeup <laughs> mogul. Thank you very much. Thank but you. I want to take it to now you and your beautiful musical journey, mm. because of course you were part of Toya's celebration. Yes. How did that come about? And also, you know, what made you have the decision to then say, "It's time for me to leave and just go it by myself." Well, um, so my journey with Joya Celebration started in 2013. I posted a video on Instagram, literally 15 seconds. Somebody saw that video oh, wow. and I got a phone call and I was like, God, why? Why what? me? Why me? Because, you know, I was doing, I was really doing African jazz at the time, African Yay. jazz soul. Yes. And they said, no, we want you. So I went in for an audition. When I got there, they said, you have the job. So I was with them, traveled the world with them. Oh, what wow. an amazing ensemble. Yay. Literally, it, it was such an amazing experience. So I was with them for four years. Mm -hmm. And after four years, I felt like there were a lot of pe new people coming in, yeah. you know, I don't like the comfort zone. So my once again, yes. <laughs> once again, I said, guys, I think I'm ready to step out and do my own thing once again. Ah, oh, I love that. And Zamo, before we wrap things up, tell us about Lenjela, your newest single. 
So Lendela is, is a song about how, as people, we're always so worried mm -hmm. about what the next person has to say. And, and I always say that whatever it is that you're going through in your journey, be it bad, be it good, always remember that it's part of your journey. Sure. You know what I mean? You can't really skip steps. You have to keep at it. Whether it's good or bad, some of that spice you will need Ahead. Yeah. I love that. Well, <laughs> here's to you doing it your way. Thank you. Lenzela Yako. Lenzela Yami. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We are going to be getting into an incredible performance by Zamud Lamini. Make sure you do not go anywhere. But right about now, my fave, Graham. He's up to some things in Cape Town. Graham, what's going on that side? It's my feel good breakfast show. And just like that, we've come to the end of your feel good breakfast show. But family, please give it up. Wrapping things up for us, Zamud Lamini.